Hello, this is Eric from Big Panda. When getting started with a new deployment of Big Panda, one of the first things you will want to do is bring in all of the alerts from your various monitoring tools. This task is made easy with Big Panda's integrations, and in this video, we are going to walk through how they work. The goal is to not only familiarize you with the process, but also enable you to perform the integrations yourself. So let's dive in. To begin, we are going to cover the three types of monitoring integrations available. The first type will be the out-of-the-box, agentless integration. This type of integration leverages the respective monitoring tools' built-in ability to push directly over HTTPS or a webhook notification. Being out-of-the-box means that the procedure needs to be straightforward and easy. This is achieved by Big Panda packaging vetted step-by-step -step instructions, installable applications, and or reusable templates bespoke to each monitoring tool. And on the receiving end, built-in data normalization and error handling are provided to ensure consistent results. Some monitoring tools lack the ability to natively push data out to Big Panda in the cloud. And for these, we have developed our second type of monitoring integration, and that's called out-of-the-box agent-based. As the name suggests, Big Panda utilizes a low footprint agent that can be installed on a local host with network access to the monitoring tool. So instead of pushing out alerts directly, the agent is used to pull and collect the alerts from the tool and then handle the secure transmission to Big Panda. Similarly, to ensure robust delivery, the agent also takes care of batching the alerts and retrying in case of a failure. Now we've come to our third integration type, and this is the custom integration by way of either REST API, SNMP, or email. This category exists to offer methods of integration for homegrown monitoring tools or tools that we have simply not created an out-of-the-box version for. Like our out-of-the-box agentless integrations, if your tool is able to push over HTTPS and make REST calls, the alerts can be sent to our alerts API endpoint and we will provide you with the necessary parameters just without the out-of-the-box packaging. Certain tools store valuable events information as SNMP traps and for these we've developed a universal SNMP integration that can collect V1, V2, V2C, and as of this video, soon to be V3 traps. And lastly, Big Panda has the ability to receive events as emails and parse them accordingly into JSON payloads for final transmission. To help summarize and frame the integration types that we've just outlined, let's talk about how to choose the best approach. The out-of-the-box agentless type is push-based and works for both on-prem and SaaS tools. The out-of-the-box agent-based type is polling-based and only works for on-prem tools that lack the ability to push directly out to the cloud or perhaps for situations where there are network limitations. Utilizing Big Panda's REST API is recommended as a first choice and preferred method to ingest alerts from tools that currently lack an out-of-the-box integration. The SNMP integration is dedicated to legacy tools and network devices or management systems that focus primarily on traps. Integrating via email is available as a fallback option and should be used when pushing alerts out over API is not supported. Next, let's take a look at a few performance and security figures behind these integrations and data flow. All API traffic is encrypted when in flight with TLS, and version 1.2 or greater is required in order to send to the Big Panda endpoint. The data is also encrypted at rest with AES-256. When data ultimately hits the Big Panda API, approximately 500 events per second prior to deduplication occurring is supported. And this rate is above even what the largest enterprises should require. If you have concerns about the supported ceiling, please let us know and we'll work with you to scale the API. And finally, the average latency of the Big Panda pipeline end-to-end -end, is less than two seconds. This accounts for the moment an event is ingested and passed up to the UI through all the numerous services like normalization, enrichment, correlation, and so forth. Now that we've learned about the different integration types and how they work, I am going to change gears and go into the Big Panda UI itself. Over here at the top is the integrations menu. And listed below here will be all of the existing and completed integrations inside of a given organization. This list also tells you when the most recent event was received per integration. And if we click on one, we can see additional details as well. To start a new integration, simply select this button here and you will be presented with all of our available out-of-the-box integrations. The tabs here at the top will filter down the integrations by monitoring, collaboration, and changes. For the purposes of this video, we will stick with the monitoring tab, which cover the tools we will be taking in the alerts from. Here at the upper right is a quick search bar if you'd like to narrow down the results by typing in the name. Clicking into one of these integrations will provide the corresponding step-by-step -step instructions. For example, here's a look at the Datadog integration, which is an agentless type. And this leverages Datadog's webhook and also provides you a JSON payload template for you to copy. 
If we go back and check out Nagios, we can see that it is an agent-based type, and the instructions list out the steps required to install the agent. Up here in the top left is our REST API integration for custom types, and inside contains details on how to configure the API call, and also the required payload fields. The first step when creating any of these integrations is to give it a name, and then BigPan will automatically generate a unique app key. The name itself is up to your preference, but it will reflect and impact how incidents are presented in the incidents view, like over here in the incident feed. Another resource at your disposal beyond the instructions in the integrations menu is the BigPanda public docs website, located at docs.bigpanda.io. The pages here in the docs will have supplemental information and troubleshooting procedures. We recommend referencing the content here to understand the operations behind certain integrations in more depth. To wrap things up, I am going to head back into the Big Panda UI and walk through an end-to-end -end example of an out-of-the-box integration. Let's go ahead and try Grafana, which is agentless. Starting here at the top of this page, we will give it a name. I'll call it Grafana underscore dev, and then let's go ahead and generate an app key. The rest of the steps will take place in the tool itself, so let's switch over to Grafana. From the left sidebar, select the bell icon and then click into the notification channels link. Select the new channel button. If we refer back to the Big Pan instructions, we simply need to fill out this form as stated. In Grafana, you have the option to assign this new notification channel to all existing alerts, which we will go ahead and toggle. Once the form is all filled out, select Send Test to validate the configuration, and you should receive this green confirmation message. Select Save and let's go back to Big Panda because that test alert should also be in the console. The integration status list will again confirm when the last event was received. And if we navigate over to the incident view, we can see the actual test alert here in the feed. As more alerts continue to flow in from the integration, it will be important at this stage to observe them by clicking into the alert details. From here, you will want to review the tags and timestamps to check that the data flow is as expected. Back over in the Grafana integration instructions, step three will cover how to manually assign the notification channel we just created to specific alerts. If you elected to not toggle that send on all alerts option like we did previously. And with Grafana, you also have the ability to send in custom attributes along with your alerts if desired. And this is covered in step four. If at any point you get stuck while configuring an integration, please reach out to our support team who will be available to assist you. You may contact them by using the intercom chat inside the UI or by sending an email to support at bigpanda.io. That concludes this video and I hope it helps you self-service and get started with Big Panda even faster. Happy integrating and thanks for watching.